Here's a super fast walkthrough of the TRV Tech Challenge 2020. We started with a totally normal picture of our CEO Axa and his boy bumping up the stock price. On closer inspection we find that the TV channel logo looks a little off. Zooming in it turns out to be a QR code. The next challenge, hidden behind this URL, points to our awesome Trivago repo. And everything's normal except for, well, this little link that we managed to sneak in. Moving on, we get redirected to Treeview, our blog post review tool, and the first article on the list is suspiciously related to the Tech Week. Inside, we get another hint. Find the sum of all digits in the integers from 0 to 100. And immediately, a few of you thought of the German mathematician Karl Friedrich Gauss, who found a formula for summing up integers in elementary school. The sum is 5050, which of course is wrong, because on closer inspection, we asked for the sum of all digits and not the numbers themselves. Writing out all digits and adding them up led some of you to 900, which is an off by one error because the number 100 should be included. Finally guessing the correct 901 leads us to a default git config file. You can use a tool like git dumper to get the context of this repository, or if you know how git works, you could open the index file directly and find our hint in all the gibberish. Typing out the address will print the next link. Next up is a JavaScript port of Perestroika, a Soviet DOS game from 1989. The goal was to reach level 5. We obfuscated the source code of course, but you could still modify the game state from the console and set the player on top of the coin. But why do that when you can just set the level to 10 or whatever you like for instant success? The next link pointed to Ktail, a tool to read Kafka messages from the command line. We managed to sneak in a secret message into the lol topic. This message leads to a server where you had to guess the right number through a series of consecutive guesses. You'd need around 64 attempts by programming a binary search against the endpoint. The next challenge was an input field. You could trigger remote code execution by typing in a semicolon, followed by any shell command like ls. It would print a file tree with our core values, except curiosity isn't really a core value, and would lead to the final challenge, where we were hiding a link in a video. And you're done. What surprised us the most was the speed and ingenuity of our participants. 40 minutes into the challenge, the team Don't Come Over, formed by Alex, Esteban and Perry, managed to be first on the leaderboard. Thanks to all who participated. 